Good morning, you guys. All right, I know it's been a while since we've been able to do a craft, so I'm super excited to be able to do this one with you. So today we are doing a ribbon hearts, and so I wanted to show you guys how cute is that. We have the buffalo print one, and then one with cute little polka dots. So I'm going to take out one of these to be able to show you guys. All right, so this is the buffalo print one. How cute is that? So it's a cute heart. And that's what we're making today, cute little hearts out of ribbons, and we're gonna go ahead and add it on to make it a cute little hair piece like mine. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be pretty, it's, it is a little finicky, but um, it's very simple. Like everything that we use is very, very simple. So all of the basics, there's not really much you're gonna need. Um, you might need to go get ribbon, but other than that, almost everything else you'll just have in your house. All right, so we're gonna set down the example, and I'll keep the other one in my hair because that's fun. All right, so what we're gonna start off with, with is, is just this ribbon and so I'm doing the polka dot one um, so this is kind of the size we're looking at um, they're 3 8 inch, inch and this one is actually we, we do have to be careful about our sizing so make sure that you're getting the right size ribbon otherwise you'll have to adjust for a bigger ribbon so you know like you'll have to figure it out yourself if you change the sizing of it okay all right so first off we're gonna start off and we're just gonna measure um, we're gonna do 3 inch and we're gonna do two of these, okay? So I'm gonna just line it up at where my three inches. I'm just gonna grab it at the end, and then I'm just gonna snip that, all right? So that's our one, that's one, and like I said, we're gonna need two, so I'm gonna set that one aside. I'm just gonna line it up again, so you want the end of your ribbon lined up with that three mark. All right, and grab at the top. We're just gonna snip. All right, and so then we don't have problems in the future. We're gonna do another step. So we've got our, our two pieces. And just so we don't have problems later on, um, we're gonna go ahead and just quickly melt our ends. Okay. And so that will stop it from fraying, okay? All right, so we got our ends all melted, all good. All right, so I'm gonna set aside my extra ribbon. All right, so we got our two pieces. So what we wanna do, so then we're able to see them and so it flows properly, is we're gonna take both of them and we're gonna face them downward, okay? So that's why we're gonna work. I'm just gonna tilt you guys down just a little bit more because like I said, it is a little bit finicky. Oh, hi you guys, it's so nice to see you all. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross these over. There's gonna be a bit left over. So I wanna show you guys up and close what we're looking at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave about the same length of the ribbon. We're gonna be gluing those together there. So there'll be a part sticking out. It'll look like that. So this is very important. So that's why I'm taking a moment just to make sure you guys fully see it and understand. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the glue glob in that spot where I'm gonna glue it. So like I said, in about, about the same amount of the ribbon. All right, and we're facing our thing down, and then I'll show you guys again. Because like I said, this is a pretty important step in it, so it's pretty important that we make sure we get that right. Okay, so that's what we're looking at now. Okay, so it's in just a bit. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna grab this one that's sticking out. All right, and we're gonna grab that piece, and we're gonna glue it to the back. So we're gonna have the the design part is gonna be against the, the design part when we flip it over. So we're gonna put the glue on the bottom of that design part, on that little nick sticking out. And we're gonna wrap this around and glue it on that spot. And then I'll show you guys up close again. All right, that's one side, that's the other. As you see, we're kind of starting to get our heart shape, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this other piece and we're gonna weave it through, okay? So it's gonna go over and then it's gonna weave behind. Okay, so that's a little bit finicky, so I'll show you guys again. All right, so we're going over top of the plain one and behind, behind the design one, okay? So we're weaving, just like weaving a basket for kids, right? All right, and we're gonna go ahead and put the glue in behind there to get that to stay solid for us. So we're not even using that much glue, honestly. All right, 
All right, so that's what we're looking at now. And I like, you guys know me, I like to make sure things aren't gonna move. And so I'm gonna add just in that in-between, so looking from the top, the in-between, to be able to make sure that, that that heart is gonna keep its shape. So just where they're already touching, I'm just gonna add some glue to make sure it's not moving. All right, so how cute is that? Super easy, super cute. All right, and then we're going to grab, and I've just grabbed a bobby pin, and so we're gonna put the glue down and we're gonna put it on the flat side. So as you can see, you know, there's one side that's flat and one side that's bumpy. We're gonna put it on the flat side because you're actually supposed to have the, the bumpy side to be able to grip your hair. So the bumpy side is supposed to go down. So we're just gonna do a little line across our back of our, our thing, or choose whichever side you like better. Make sure you have your bobby pin pointing what side you want it. So I'm gonna put it on this other side. So I'm gonna point it the other way than I did the others. So I'm just setting that right down in the glue. Give it a moment to dry. All right, make sure. Make sure it's dry, I don't want it getting in my hair. We've all heard about that glue incident lately, right? <laughs> all right, so, and then I just have the cute little heart bow for my hair. How cute is that? Super easy, and like I said, you guys can put them on cards. I actually did something similar, um, and I gathered up a pile of hearts to make it into a shamrock and did it as a, a magnet for my fridge, so you could do a pile of those. A nice little cute thing for when your kids come home and dress up for Valentine's. All right, you guys, um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I know it's a little bit fiddly, so you're more than welcome to, to leave me a comment. And um, I think that's everything. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more, I I've not been quite as regular because I started school lately, um, but I do videos on here. So you're more than welcome to add me as a friend to be able to see more videos. And I do have a YouTube channel. So if you're interested in that, just let me know. And you're more than welcome to sprinkle it around. All right, you guys, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and we will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye, you guys.